most people read, they read approximately 150 to 250 words per minute. And that also happens to be the average speaking speed. And so here's the question you want to ask yourself. Do you need to pronounce words like university or computer to understand what those words mean? And the answer is no. Much like when you're driving and you happen to see signs on the side of the road and you happen to see a stop sign, for example, I guarantee most of you do not say to yourself, stop every single time you see that. But do you comprehend exactly what it means? Of course you do. And that's the difference. And so when you're reading something, most of the words that you're actually going through and reading, you don't have to pronounce to understand. When you see a date like 2017, most of you don't say 2017. You see the date and you recognize what it is, much like a stop sign, much like if you're reading something and it says Los Angeles or New York City, even if it was abbreviated NYC, you would get it. You don't have to pronounce it in order to understand it. And we find that some of the fastest readers out there that read in excess of 300, 400, 600 words per minute, they can't possibly say all the words. For example, we know leaders are readers, right? Uh, Tony Robbins, very fast reader. Brendan Burchard, he reads a book a week for the past almost 18 years. Oprah Winfrey, very strong reader, right? And so leaders are readers. And so if you want to be able to read a book that somebody spent decades writing, then you could download decades in just days. And that's the advantage that you have. So how do you do it? Number one, the first idea is to be able to stretch yourself. Stretch yourself. That means to read faster than you normally do. Because the goal is when you're reading faster, what will happen when you stretch yourself is your mind is always looking for shortcuts and it's going to spend less time filling in the filler words, like saying the filler words like and, there, because, that is, all these words that are there that don't have any inherent meaning because you're not reading for the words, you're reading for the ideas. The second thing I would recommend is to listen to music. Listen to the music. And I would listen to music, you would have to find music that really agrees with you, that I would avoid ones that have lyrics to it. Uh, classical music has always worked well for myself and a lot of our students. This alpha state, which is a great state to be able to learn in, where you can learn languages and vocabulary a lot stronger, is by playing classical music, specifically Baroque music, because it has about 60 beats per minute. And the third tip I will give you right now that you could use right away is, is a pattern interrupt. A pattern interrupt. So you need to distract yourself. For some, basically what it's doing is when people are reading, you'll see them moving their lips um, or they're talking to themselves under their breath. And what you have to do is you have to give your mouth something else to do while you read. And so it could disengage from that speak mechanism in the brain. So there are a number of ways of doing this. So what can you do? Number one, in no particular order, some people could hum. You could hum while you're reading because that resonance, that sound there will prevent, you can't be humming and also be talking to yourself at the same time. Some people, what they'll do is they'll need to break it physically, that habit, and what they'll do is they'll bite on their knuckles or their fingers, not very sanitary. <laughs> But they will do that because they use their lips and they're, they're moving their mouth when they're reading and they'll help to interrupt the pattern by distracting themselves. Other things that you could re we would recommend is chewing gum. Some people say that chewing gum is actually good for your brain. Um, I would say that would be dependent on the quality of the gum that you're using. But chewing gum could help break the pattern uh, that we've learned back again, back in school, where we're talking out loud and saying the words to ourselves.